Hello, I'm Tyler Jacks, immediate past president of the American Association for Cancer Research and the director of the David H. Koch Institute for Cancer Research at MIT. Soon after I started as AACR president last year, I began to think about the possibility of launching a new journal. Uh, it seemed to me that the time was right to introduce a new journal that would capture the excitement developing in basic research and its implications for changes in clinical studies relevant to cancer. And I'm pleased to say that the response from the community and from the AACR was extremely strong. And indeed, we've moved forward such that today we are announcing the beginnings of this new journal, Cancer Discovery. And I'm pleased to be joined today by the two editors-in-chief of Cancer Discovery, Louis Cantley and Jose Baselga. Lou, if you could introduce yourself. I'm director of the Cancer Center at Beth Israel Deaconess and also a professor of systems biology at Harvard Medical School. And Jose? I'm division chief of oncology and chemotology at the Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston and professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School. I'd like to ask you now about your impressions of the importance of launching a cancer research journal in this era. What's new? Why is it important to do so now? What's unique about this particular time in cancer research is that for the first time we suddenly have uh, a, a plethora of drugs that are hitting targets that we've been studying for 30 years. So the genes that were identified as oncogenes and viruses or human uh, cancers uh, are now being targeted with a number of compounds. And so this means that we can actually use the knowledge of all this basic research as we go into the clinic. Now the problem is, can we really uh, can we really utilize, utilize that knowledge to design better clinical trials? So I think part of what we'd like to do with cancer discovery is communicate those basic science papers as well as critical clinical trial papers in which the basic science knowledge is translated into how you design clinical trials or at least uh, implying what sort of clinical trials should be studied uh, based on basic science discoveries. I'm sure that, that it is true that in this age of information overload, um, one has to go to a, a source to find out really what, what is, what's the pulse of the field. Cancer discovery has the opportunity to do that. So I think you mentioned a point that is very important. Now that's a concept of one, one um, shop, you know, one stop shop for, for, for science. Uh, we need to have and in one place, understanding of what are the new developments in cancer biology, what are the new technology platforms going to be bringing us. We need a place where we have reviews, critical reviews, on um, some of the hot topics. We also need a place for debate. There is a lot of debate. Uh, should we do the clinical trials this way? Should we interpret that the other? So we need a forum where you will have point and counterpoint by well-known scientists that will tackle an issue from multiple viewpoints. So basically, the exciting thing about the cancer discovery is that we'll have all of this. You know, just to add to that, I think um, you know, it's, a, it's a time where basic scientists and clinicians need to talk to each other more. And I think this is the journal that, I mean, that's one of our goals, to get them talking to each other, to learn a common language. So one of the important components of this journal will be to make sure that all the areas of research are explained in the front part of the journal, uh, in reviews and in opinions, in such a way that most of the scientists, hopefully everybody, will be able to understand it. Jose, you were talking about different components of cancer discovery. Uh, in addition to the primary research articles, sections on news and opinion, can you comment a bit on the research watch component? critical commentaries about papers published in other journals. There's going to be a section in which the most important uh, work published in other journals that relate to the field of interest uh, of cancer will be also presented there. So we realize that there are many cancer journals. Uh, there's a data overflow and hopefully this will simplify things and by basically selecting what the editorial team feels are the most important discoveries hopefully will make the lives of our readers uh, easier.
This is a new journal for the AACR. Can you talk a bit about the importance of the AACR and the success of the new journal? Well, so the AACR, I think, is, is positioned uh, perfectly to launch this and to back it. Uh, the AACR is the oldest of all the cancer societies, uh, and it's the largest. It has more than 32,000 members, and uh, it also covers very broadly all aspects of cancer, prevention, treatment, basic research. So uh, I think it's, you know, the AACR is the perfect organization to, to support this. And that's the reason, uh, at least that I agreed to be an editor, I, I saw that uh, this organization is going to commit to making this the best scientific journal. When will we see the first cancer discovery? Well, we are already uh, uh, discussing papers with people. And uh, I think uh, the plan now is to have the first issue out in, in uh, well, the electronic version out in April and the hard copy out in July. Uh, so it's time to start uh, submitting papers to us. The journal will come electronically every week. So every week we will have the new articles being displayed and then in print once a month. Cancer Discovery has a bit of a unique editorial structure for AACR journals. We have the two of you in the trenches, working scientists, clinical investigators, um, but you're not alone in this mission. Can you talk a bit about the editorial structure? So this is a very unique uh, aspect of cancer discovery in a way we feel strongly that we are being in the best of both worlds. Uh, there's been classically uh, journals run by societies such as ACR, which have been run by uh, working scientists who have been serving as volunteers, and that adds a lot to the whole process. On the other hand, uh, we have come up to realize, ACR has, that the work of professional editors is important. Uh, people that are experts, uh, many of them good scientists that understand the field and have the time and effort to make sure that the whole process is done well, is done in a timely fashion, that there is attention to detail. That detail uh, is very important. How you prepare the news, how you prepare the articles, how you prepare the themes. So we thought, why don't we mix the two best ways to do it and we basically join forces, and that's the idea. Let's talk more about the specific research articles that will be published in Cancer Discovery. What are you looking for in submitted manuscripts? Well, I can speak for the type of basic research that, that we'd be looking for. Uh, it's going to be cutting edge things, papers, papers that uh, are making major breakthroughs, discovering new cancer mechanisms, uh, particularly papers that whose basic research discoveries suggest a new type of clinical trial. Uh, so, you know, we want papers that are addressing questions that are, that are going to move the field, mm. not just incrementally, but really change how people think about uh, how we should, what we should be doing in the clinic in the future. So, Jose, on the, on the clinical side, uh, what are you looking for? So we're looking for innovative, cutting-edge clinical research. So these are the clinical or basic uh, uh, science uh, uh, papers that bring new concepts. Well, speaking on behalf of the AACR uh, and all of its members, and frankly on behalf of the field at large, uh, thanks to both of you for doing this. Uh, I'm excited about the, the launch of Cancer Discovery, and I actually think it's going to make a big impact on our field and lead us all in an important new direction. So uh, thanks from all of us. Thank you.